Although most physics problems involve a second-order differential equation, you might occasionally come across a third-order differential equation. We call the third derivative of position the jerk, and we can incorporate it into our Runge Kutta code easily. We just store the acceleration in the z component of our vector with position and velocity. The machinery of the Runge Kutta method works exactly the same way since it acts on this entire vector at once. Let's try out our third order Runge Kutta program with a third derivative equal to the negative of the position. As you can see, with a higher order differential equation, the changes produced in the function are more dramatic. Sometimes it's helpful to study these functions using a phase space plot. When you create a phase space plot, you graph the function versus its derivative instead of versus time. A phase space plot helps you see when the position and velocity are at maximum or minimum values. You should now be able to use the Runge Kutta method to solve a third order differential equation. Use the code in the link in the description below to solve the following differential equations with the given initial conditions. Next time, we'll give our program an overhaul so that we can have any order differential equation.